over real estate at Fusion Capital. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, a lot of people don't really understand uh, the real estate business. And uh, while we might be talking about uh, income real estate investment trusts, when we talk about development uh, real estate investment trusts, that's a whole different story altogether. Uh, so maybe just to put it into perspective for us, if you could just differentiate between the two of them before we can even get into the conversation. All right. Um, so Fission is involved with uh, DIRIT, what you're calling Fred Commercial. Uh, now, DIRIT are technically uh, collective investment schemes where investors uh, put together funds and undertake developments. Mm -hmm. Now, the main difference uh, between a DIRIT and a NIRIT is, uh, whereas in DIRIT you undertake fresh developments, uh, with IRIT uh, you invest in already uh, existing uh, developments mm -hmm. and uh, uh, for IRATE you'll be going for uh, for yield uh, on uh, rental yield whereas for DRATE you normally be going for development returns so internal rate of return. Okay yeah. so knowing that you're now getting uh, increased interest in the DRATE um, how exactly would you put it to somebody who probably has the money to invest, but they do not know where to put the money, uh, but then they would like to get into development uh, real estate investment trusts. All right. Um, uh, Fred Commercial, uh, I probably need to say that it's, it's, it's the first, not only in Kenya, but in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, it's, it's a global solution as far as developments are concerned. Yeah. Um, what you're looking at is uh, previously you've had challenges with uh, developers funding uh, real, large real estate projects. Mm -hmm. um, and in our case in Kenya is not very different. Uh, uh, sourcing funding uh, becomes a bit uh, tricky. And so uh, the, f the framework had in mind uh, to, to bring into the market a solution uh, where uh, projects can easily be funded and uh, help in uh, sorting out the current uh, problem you have in the market where you have uh, demand on not only the housing uh, side but in retail and, and office and, and, and other sectors uh, right. within the real estate. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so the framework uh, was structured so that uh, the developers are able to raise uh, significant amounts of money from the market, mm -hmm. uh, develop, exit and, 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 and and be able to to pay their their investors. Okay. Now, we, with the the Fred commercial, uh, it's it's already uh, the offer opened on on 23rd of of this month. Uh, it 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 will be in the market for the next 15 days and will be opening uh, on the 15th of July. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, investors uh, have an opportunity to invest uh, in, in Fred commercial. And what Fred Commercial is investing in is a mixed-use development that will be located, that's located in Meru. Yeah. Uh, it's, it comprises a shopping mall, an office block, and apartments. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically, this is the first project that we put on the D-Rate. And the investors will subscribe for units in Fred Commercial. Uh, the minimum investment is uh, 5 million shillings mm -hmm. uh, and there are a total of 100, 100 million units on offer at 23 shillings uh, each and they're basically trading in the market and so uh, investors and, and investors, uh, the, 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 the framework uh, defines them as professional investors and professional investors is either an individual uh, or an institution, uh, they could be private equity companies, insurance fund, insurance companies, right. pensions fund, mm -hmm. who can be able to uh, afford five million shillings, and with five million shillings, they will be able to subscribe for units. All right. The so th there's been uh, some some sort of um, gap that we are seeing in the housing industry, mm -hmm. and low cost housing uh, today is really hard to come by, yeah. and. One would actually say with what you're looking for, that doesn't exactly sound like low cost. Um, when you're asking that the minimum that anybody should have is five million, would you say that is affordable? Um, well, I think let's look at this, uh, the, the type of development we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's going to be a 3.7 billion yeah. uh, in size. Now, uh, traditionally, uh, 
uh, this size and type of uh, properly structured, uh, well-developed, uh, uh, utilizing the best professionals in the market were traditionally done by only high net worth individuals or institutions. Yeah. Now, uh, with the Fred commercial, you've been able to, we will be able to avail these opportunities uh, to small investors who can actually be able to afford uh, five, I mean, who can be able to put in five million shillings. And you basically invest in a large development mm -hmm. that guarantees you a return above 20% uh, at the point of exit. Uh, there's a question of, of, of housing uh, and, and, and uh, fusion capital is coming into the market as, as basically the first uh, uh, D-rate, mm -hmm. uh, well, the, the, the first D-rate manager really in the market. You think uh, Kenya is prime enough to take on the D-rate? Uh, we think, we think it's, it's, it's the right time. I mean, uh, it's the right time. Uh, currently, you have uh, a huge deficit on the housing end. Mm -hmm. uh, you're talking uh, uh, demand at around 200,000 units a year yeah. against a supply of about 55,000 a year. And so that tells you there's a huge, there's a huge gap. Yeah. Uh, the only way uh, to, uh, to, 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 to meet that gap is to raise funds from the market and be able to uh, deliver into the market uh, reasonably priced units and I think what we have at the moment the Fred commercial is our first uh, uh, D-rate in the market mm -hmm. uh, probably later in the year you'll be seeing us coming back into the market uh, with uh, a, a, a D-rate that now focuses on residential mm -hmm. the current uh, D-rate focuses on uh, mixed use which is basically uh, retail office and an apartment. An apartment. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. So um, how exactly do you think the property market is going to take the D-rate, knowing it is the first of its kind? Um, uh, well, I think there's a precedent with, with the I-rate, which, mm -hmm. which, which went ahead of us. Um, uh, but then, then again, as I said, uh, uh, you're looking at a very well-structured uh, uh, offer uh, the development, the first project, uh, whereas Fred Commercial will be a multi-project uh -huh, REIT, uh -huh. the first project is a very well thought through project. Uh, the construction has already started on site, uh, 25, uh, about 25 percent in construction. Uh, the selling is ongoing, about 25, uh, sorry, 25 uh, 25 percent let on the shopping mall, mm -hmm. 10 percent let on the office, and uh, the apartments are about 35 percent sold. So in terms of the market of tech risk, the risk really does it. There is very minimal risk uh, as, as far as that is concerned. Mm -hmm. uh, you also look at the team that's, that has brought this into the market. You're basically talking of a top tier uh, team from the consultancy team to the construction team to the rate manager uh, that's, that's, that's Fusion Capital who has over 10 years experience in this market and has successfully delivered projects before uh, within the East African region. Right. And, and, and so we expect the market to, to, to receive it uh, uh, very well. I think early indications indicate that, that it's going to, uh, to, uh, to receive uh, uh, very good, uh, there's already very good appetite in the market for this type of uh, uh, development. Interesting. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Daniel, for speaking to us thank about you. the D-rate and, uh, of course, about what exactly Fusion Capital does. Uh, Daniel Kamau is the Executive Director of Real Estate at Fusion Capital, talking to us about the D-rate or the Development uh, Real Estate Investment Trust and the first of its kind in Kenya, and he says also in Africa. And uh, we are hopefully going to be seeing the results of that, not from today. Well, thank you so much once again. And uh, it's now time for us to take a look